The mental gymnastics of a fanboy never cease to amaze me with how low they are willing to drop. In this short review about the slime isekai, this guy defends the hour is worth of nothing happens besides people sitting down and talking as lasting a moment. See, it is not a problem when hours last as long as one moment. That's wonderful if you can do that. How many can do that, though? For most people, hours of nothing feel like an eternity. So why is this particular guy able to equate hours to a moment? Because he watched Monogatari, a show that is all about talking and thus he is used to not getting any plot. Only thing, Monogatari has a ton of fan service and smooth animation even when they are talking, while the slime isekai has close to nothing happening when they are talking, so it's not the same thing. Also, once you experience something better, your bar is supposed to go up, not down. Monogatari is one of the few anime where a talking is accompanied with a lot of animation and fan service. Once you watch it, you are not supposed to be pleased with just people standing still and talking for hours. How the shit is this guy pleased with something far worse? It's almost like his bar is going down instead of up. Finally, he insists, like so many other idiotic defenders, that all those boring episodes were necessary so the characters can strategize about what they will do next. Why would anyone give a shit about that? The slime isekai is not some elaborate civilization-building story where everything is based on diplomacy and tactical warfare. It ain't Legend of the Galactic Heroes, okay? It's a run-of-the-mill isekai about an overpowered main character, easily defeating all his enemies with broken video game powers, amassing a harem, and everyone being amazed with how strong he is. There is nothing smart about it that needs hours of strategizing what to do next. This excuse is bullshit! So is saying hours worth of nothingness last only a moment because you watched Monogatari and it's all necessary for easily defeating your next enemies and making your harem bigger! It is once again proven that fanboys have no standards, they don't care about quality, their bar is going down the more they watch, and they dare to place a crappy isekai next to the best harem and the best space opera! You are better off never being one.